I'm Pat Jackson. I'm on the faculty in the cinema department, and my specialty is post-production sound and editing. There have just been a hotbed in the Bay Area of people interested in how far sound could go in movies. We started this conversation anyhow. I started sound editing on feature films on Francis Ford Coppola's movie, The Conversation. As a young person coming into the business, my eyes were opened by the possibilities for what you could do with sound because I had a ringside seat at a bunch of wonderful movies that were made in the Bay Area. The Godfather 2, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Apocalypse Now, The Right Stuff, The English Patient, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Um, it was just a wealth of opportunity and it's really I know this sounds hokey, but it's really exciting to be able to hand off that experience to people who are interested in taking it to the next step. But really, what's creating the driving force through this scene is, is the music. Digital Sound for Film is a course that I teach that's essentially a course in sound design. What we are dealing with in class is the combination of how to get through the technical underbrush and examining how films use sound design as an effective means of storytelling. Students bring in clips that we screen. They talk about what appealed to them. We as a class analyze it to take it apart to say, what are the elements that make that work? That's a lot of sound. So how did you pick this one? I liked how they blended all the different elements, like voiceover turning into, you know, score. He would do the screams to the point of being irritating because he wanted you to get kind of tense. At the very least, what I hope students will do is to think about sound before they start shooting, to think about it even when they're working on the script. Where can sound be applied effectively to, um, to, to tell the story that they want to tell. One of the things that I have come to appreciate about San Francisco State's film program is the combination of film theory and history and production techniques. And I have to confess that I wasn't so sure that that was so great when I got here, but when I've seen how much better the films are from students who have been steeped in what's gone before them um, and have taken a lot of film theory and film history classes, they make much better movies. <laughs>